Hi, I'm Brent. Today we've got a really good update to explain to you the importance of using good quality oils and how to service your car properly so for the long term you can rely on the internal engine components in your car to work properly and be maintained the way you would come to expect. And what we're going to talk about is the contamination problems with internal combustion engines, the effect of uh, varnishing, the burning of the oil, crankcase, um, blow-by problems, and then the resultant effect it has on the turbo engine, and particularly with the Subaru turbo range. And beside me here, we've got a really good condition MY01 Subaru WRX. So here we are, 2018, 17 years old. The owner of this car has delivered us from interstate. Um, he's given a bit of a birthday outside, but the engine bay from the top looks really good condition. He asked us to do some work, um, repairing some things, do a custom tune. We did a little bit more investigation and found a few scary surprises. And to his surprise, um, his local service place hasn't been using good quality oils, hasn't been using Subaru upper cylinder cleaner, the fuel additive. And the bottom line is the internal part of his engine is to the point where we're genuinely concerned about the reliability of the conditions, considering we're going to be putting one of our XB uh, power kits in it and adding about another 30 to 40 kilowatts to the engine performance. So what we've done is we've, in a minute I'll show you what the inside of the engine looks like, which is going to be a bit of a shock and certainly a bit of a shock for the owner. And what I'll show you here is what the engine looked like originally. Now this is the inside of the rocker cover, which sits on the side of the engine, and you can see that. So what happens is the engine sits here, spark plugs go in here and all of these are bolted on. You can see it's had oil leaks which is what we've pulled it apart for. At the top here is part of the uh, crankcase and rocker cover breather system which connects to the oil uh, components on top of the engine. But inside here you can see all of this dark brown stuff is actually burnt oil or contaminants that have been left behind when the engine's been operating. Now in reality that's a really good indication of what unfortunately the engine looks like inside because the, choice, the chosen type of oil being used hasn't had enough detergent in it, hasn't washed it down, and it hasn't had regular oil changes, and it's contaminated the inside. Now, for reality's sake, we've cleaned this one up. That's what it should look like. You can see there's remnants of what's left over. In a perfect world with a nice fresh engine, when it comes out of the factory, it should look all nice and clean when it goes back together. And these parts here are the rubber seals, which have been on there for so long, they stick in place. But when you do rocker cover gaskets on the Subaru, these are just some of the things you replace because the bolt goes down through that and that's what seals it off. So let's have a look at something else that happens as a result of the uh, positive crankcase ventilation. So what you remember, when your engine is operating under boost or even on no boost, the combustion pressures, some of it um, creates energy, makes the engine run, forcing the piston down. But what happens over a period of time, you get leakage down past the piston skirt and the ring into the bottom of the crankcase. And all that pressurized air has got to go somewhere, but it's all mixed up with oil flying around the crankshaft and everything. And it goes up through what's called the positive crankcase ventilation system, which is all connected together to then recombust that oily pressurized air back through the inlet manifold, it then gets combusted, it goes through the um, engine and effectively out through the exhaust. Now on a Subaru, right up to even the current model STI, the turbo intake pipe looks very, very similar to this. Now, what you've got to remember, the front of the engine, the front of the car is here, the air box is here, this goes under the inlet manifold and this part here bolts on to the front of the turbo before it's sucked in, gets compressed, goes into the engine. Now all of these valves and hoses here, which have been broken off because they're brittle, and these connections here are part of the positive crankcase ventilation system, and you get oily air going back through this intake. And if you have a look inside there, you can see, just look at that. That's the crap that you end up inside that pipe. Now what happens is over a period of time, this is a stiff pipe because it's got to resist vacuum as the engine's operating and sucking in air, but this part's got to be soft because there's a hose clamp on it that connects it to the turbo. And what happens is when you turn your engine off, the oil sits in the bottom of this plastic pipe and guess what? It gets a hole in the bottom here, which then you can't see it. The engine's running, it sucks air in that hasn't gone past the airflow meter. The engine runs lean, you damage your engine, you go, why? These are some of the things that you need to be aware of. So come over here and I'll get my torch. I'll turn this one on without catching up here. Oh, and the torch has gone <laughs> flat. So this is the side of the rocker covers. You can see the inlet camshaft and the exhaust camshaft. You can see how it's just that horrible goldy, browny color. And right down the bottom here, sitting in the bottom of the head, is all that black 
crap, which is a byproduct of the crankcase breathing and the engine not being cleaned properly. So the engine bay of this engine, when we first looked at it, it looked really, really good, but the demons inside are a little bit of a worry. So how are we going to fix it? Well, we're going to mechanically fix the parts first, fix all the oil leaks, and then we're going to put a chemical in the oil, run the engine and basically sit it here for about half a day and the oil running through the engine will wash it internally. We use Mobile One Oil, it's got a good detergent. We'll then drain the oil. We'll then do a fuel system service to clean the rest of the manifolds and everything else. Repeat the process again. And in theory, by the time we've finished, all those parts will look not quite as brand new, but certainly a hell of a lot better. We'll then do a compression test and a leak down test to make sure the pistons are now good and sealed back in the bores because all that crap causes the pistons and the uh, rings to stick in the pistons and you lose uh, um, compression, which causes poor performance. You get all that stuff on the backs of the valves, which is then cleaned out as part of the fuel system service using the BG product we use. And ultimately, at the end of the day, this car will go a hell of a lot better and then we'll tune it, make sure it's reliable, deliver it back to the customer. So there you have it, a bit of a tips and ideas and traps of what to look for, whether it's a new car or an old car. And believe me, this does happen even normal aspirated cars, brand new cars, over a period of time, all these things add up. It's in your interest to make sure you're aware of it. And of course, when you're looking for more performance upgrades, make sure you go to our website, mrttuned.com.au. The uh, Bug Eye WRX, you can download the Power Kit document, XAXBXC, and get it tuned done no matter where you live in Australia. We've got partners all around um, that we can do work on your car locally. But for in the meantime, when you're looking after your car, if you need some servicing, give us a call. But for today, my name is Brett Middleton. I hope this has helped. Bye for now.